What is going on guys? Welcome back to another LSPDFR tutorial and in today's video we are installing CompuLite by Bajojo and let me tell you this is a must have for your LSPDFR build because it totally enhances your traffic stops and basically anything else because this is how you do your charges, your vehicle checks, and you can see court cases also of your past suspects. I'll have the link to this in the description. It should be right at the top along with my mods list. You can also find it in there right here. Uh, we're going to install CompuLite and the realistic usable charges for it so that you get a lot more options. This is kind of like stop the ped with the ultimate questions, but it's just with CompuLite. So we're going to start off with CompuLite. I'm just going to open a tab for this one. The link for this will also be in the description. So we're going to start with CompuLite here. Uh, you could read through it if you want. I'm not going to read it to you. So we're going to scroll on down till you see this box again. You're going to hit that down arrow right there and then i'm actually going to download realistic usable charges for CompuLite, and this is by chad c78 so let's go ahead and download this this gives you a lot more options and this is what i'm used to using also very basic very easy uh so we got those two right there i'm going to open them both up so now that you have both downloads ready to go you got CompuLite, and you got the realistic usable charges and cit citations for CompuLite. we're going to go ahead and open up our gta 5 main directory so i have a shortcut for it i'm going to go ahead and open it up right here it's gonna be a pretty quick tutorial because it's a very easy plugin to do so what we're going to start off with is just opening up CompuLite here in the download i'm gonna move this over just a bit so you guys can see so we're gonna open up CompuLite, and then you got plugins and rage native ui you should already have this from my past tutorial so if you don't have it you can drag and drop just make sure you can scroll on through in your directory to see if you have it so i have rage native ui.dll uh 39 2024 um so the one we have in our directory is a lot newer so we actually don't need this one but again if you don't have a rage native ui just drag and drop this one in going past that you can go ahead and just open up the plugins folder and then following this pathway you can go ahead and open up the plugins folder in your directory so we're going to go plugins there lspdfr in there lspdfr in here and then we're just going to throw in CompuLite right in to the lspdfr folder so we're going to grab all three of these drag and drop and there we go so now you should have stop the pet ultimate backup and CompuLite if you have been following my tutorials otherwise you just got CompuLite so far depending on where you're coming from so now that we have that in you can actually go ahead and just exit out of the download otherwise i mean he does have a readme in here he actually shows you how to install it just like i'm doing right now he shows you the features he shows you how to use it so if you need your key binds this is definitely uh, a place to go to figure out how to use this plugin but i'm going to show you guys at the end of the video so we can go ahead and x out of that and we're going to bring up realistic usable charges and citations here and we're going to install this so where to install these two files is you have to go into that CompuLite folder that we just threw in and then you see these two these are the exact ones we're going to be replacing that are in this download so we're going to grab these two right here drag and drop and we're going to replace and there we go we have it in we're gonna hop into the game and then i'll show you guys how to bring it up all right guys we are inside the game with lspdfr loaded up and we are on duty so the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and head inside any cruiser that you are using and to get CompuLite to come up all you got to do is hold down e and it should pop up so this is the default button to bring up CompuLite is e on my other build i have it for l so all i do is hold down l and CompuLite would come up. And if you're wondering how to change that, all you gotta do is go into the CompuLite INI, which is very simple. So I can actually show you right now, but if you wanna skip this, just skip a few seconds ahead. Here's my directory. So we're gonna go into plugins, LSPDFR, CompuLite right here. I'm gonna open that up. And right here is where you would change your keybind. Open computer key. So right there. And if you want a modifier, that means if you wanna do like left shift E or left shift L, you can go ahead and add that in as you can tell they have it like right here uh, but for me i just have this set to l on my other build but for this one i'm just gonna leave it as e uh, because it's perfectly fine it doesn't really interfere with anything except the horn it doesn't matter to me right now if you guys want to change it to a binding of your own go right ahead just make sure it doesn't overlap with anything else but other than that it's that easy to change the key bind you just have to go into the CompuLite configuration setting the one with the cog wheel so when you're in the game when you held down e CompuLite will come up right here with ped records vehicle records and court cases so this is the menu on how to 
write people citations and write their arrest charges. So obviously you'd go into here, uh, if your suspect's not popping up, you can definitely just type in his name or you could type in his last name or his full name. If you want to check the vehicle right here, you could type it in their plate number. And once you've arrested them and put them in jail, uh, you can actually see their court case. They don't have to go to jail. Uh, just once you have written their arrest charges, pretty sure their court case comes up right away. So that is how you bring up the system. Now, another cool feature a lot of people don't know about is that Compulite has a tablet. Now, let me show you guys how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull over a random vehicle. So here's a good suspect. Let's go ahead and just light him up. Hopefully he pulls over. Looks like he is right here. There we are. So now say if you didn't want to go back to your vehicle to check his record or ID or his vehicle or anything, all you have to do is come out here so say if I wanted to check his plate number for right here and you wanted to open up the tablet, you can hold left control and zero on the numpad and it'll bring up the tablet. So that's left control and zero on the numpad together. So here you can actually access the vehicle. So right here, now that I'm in front of it, we can see the vehicle. It has expired insurance. And right here, you can see the registered owner's name, Carmen Gafrida. I think that's how you say it. Uh, but you can actually go straight to their record once you click that. So it'll bring you to the record. As you can see, you get everything. You can create the citations. And now with that realistic usable citations and charges or whatever it's called, you get way many more options, as you can tell. And once you've selected your charges for that suspect, you, you can go up to open action menu and then you could submit it. And if you wanted to add some short notes, you can. If you want to do a notice to appear, you can select that. Uh, you can always cancel. That's basically how it, it works. So if you didn't want to go back to your vehicle, to bring up the system, you could just use that tablet. Well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. There's really not that much more to go through. It's very personal preference when going through the settings for this. Um, otherwise, just changing that keybind to bring it up is basically it. Once you have CompuLite and that realistic usable charges, you're good to go. Another thing a lot of people do wonder is how is my game still going and what i mean by that is it's still moving in the background once i bring up CompuLite. see right here how it paused this is actually a setting in that i and i i brought you guys to earlier to change that keybind so i can actually show you guys that real quick let me just go back to my gta 5 directory so once you're in your directory you go back to plugins lspdfr and then that CompuLite configuration settings right here the i and i double click that and then once you're here you can actually find it right down here whether the game will be paused when you open CompuLite, yes or no. So is paused when open. Right now it's set to yes. We can actually change that to no because that's how you keep the game moving while you're in CompuLite. That's more realistic. Once you've changed that to no, just like how they have it there, all lowercase, you can go ahead and hit file and save. And they do have a few more other options you could read through. So like right here, enable traffic stop auto tag vehicle. You could do that. Uh, enable traffic stop auto collection pet ID. So this is once you've started that traffic stop, it'll automatically give you the info of that vehicle and pet that you're pulling over. So this is kind of unrealistic. Um, it's up to you. I'm just gonna leave it, not a huge deal to me. And if you don't want that grainy transition screen of CompuLite, you can go ahead and disable that. I'm actually gonna disable that also. We're gonna change that to no. There we go, all lowercase. I'm gonna hit file and save. So I'd have to restart LSPDFR for those changes to work, but we already have it in. We're good to go. So that is how you install CompuLite and realistic usable charges and citations into LSPDFR. I really hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're new. And I'll catch you all in the next tutorial or video or stream. We'll see. <laughs> y'all take care. Peace out. Screaming, I made it, but I'm praying I don't get so far gone Feeling evasive, hunted on the dash, no brakes in the other